Uinta Heritage State Park in North Adams, Massachusetts. My name is Steve Melito. You probably know me better as Moose, a blogger for CR4, the engineer's place for news and discussion. My cameraman here is my son, Brian, age 10. Brian, thank you so much for helping out with this. You're welcome. I'm here to talk about a caboose. Not my caboose, that caboose, that rail car right there. Now, you don't see too many of these things anymore, but at one time they served an important safety purpose. First of all, they let crew members keep an eye on the air brake lines to make sure there was adequate pressure. Without that pressure, you couldn't be sure that the train was going to stop. Another purpose was that cupola right up there. Brian, if you can get that. Crew members would climb up there to take a peek at the train. Now, this was a short train with two cars, but imagine one, if you would, with 80 cars. The engineer at the front looks back, he can see maybe 40 until you go around the bend, and then maybe not even that many. But the guys at the back can look forward and they can make sure that the other cars are okay. So the caboose, very important for a safety idea. Now another thing I like about the caboose, and this is where I really get excited, is thinking about the history of what's down below. So come on over here with me. And when you come down here, what you have is something called a truck. It's an assembly with an axle and a couple of wheels. And typically, trains are going to have a couple of trucks with two axles and two wheels each. Now, what happens is between the axle and the wheel, there's a box that's called a hot box. And I'll tell you why. It gets hot because of the bearings that were used. Historically, they weren't the best for the job. They were called journal bearings. They were made of an alloy that when it got too hot, it would actually melt away to the point that what would be left is a brass carrier ring that would then sit on the steel axle, cause that st steel axle to break, the car to collapse, and the train to drop, and even come off the tracks. The bearings weren't the only problem. The other issue here was the packing that was used. Whenever you got metal that rubs on metal, you're going to have friction. Friction makes heat, heat makes fire. Now this packing was soaked in oil to provide lubrication, but the oil would leak out or dry up, so that what you got in this hot box was a hot box. You had a bearing that was wearing away, you had packing that was prone to catch fire. It was not a good situation. So over time what happened is that the engineers replaced the journal bearings and the fabric packing with a non-flammable packing and something called roller bearings. Now the last thing I want to tell you is why you don't see cabooses anymore. They're a casualty of technology. If you look at my latest blog entry, How Fred Killed the Caboose on CR4, I'll tell you why. But very briefly, Fred is a device that hangs off the back end of a caboose. It's got sensors, telemetry, radio control, it does all the things that a caboose used to do. But Fred's just not that charming. That's all I got. Thanks, Brian.